I'm David Zinn. I'm down here at the Ann Arbor Summer Festival Top of the Park uh, to do a little chalk art. Uh, I'm an uh, Ann Arborite, been here uh, doing freelance art my whole life and uh, doing uh, sidewalk art the last five years or so. Uh, down here seeing what we can add to the sidewalks and uh, infiltrate the normal community. Uh, we have here a perfectly respectable piece of concrete. Uh, nicely made, but uh, not particularly uh, inspiring. Uh, so I'm just going to see if we can uh, stare at it long enough to see some good art there and then make that. Clearly the favorite, uh, mainly because it's so temporary. It takes a lot of the pressure off doing something important or uh, art worthy. Uh, and it's also really messy. And most of the other media I work with are relatively clean pencil and ink and some charcoal, but really not much to get your fingers to. Well, I mean, frankly, since I'm keeping myself busy doing it, I'm always surprised whenever anybody wants to stop and watch because there really isn't that much to see. But definitely early on, it, I'm mostly squinting at the ground and making it up in my head. So I have to remember that what I can see, I haven't drawn yet. And so actually there's very little for anyone else to observe. Uh, I rarely notice while it's happening, but when I finish a drawing, almost invariably two hours at least have gone by, even if I only meant to spend five minutes. So, two hours is a pretty good guideline. I've learned not to expect to walk away fewer than two hours. Yeah, it's, that's been happening down here definitely, because there's a lot of people walking around, uh, and, you know, and they told the people I would be here. So that makes a difference. Um, yeah, there tend to be a lot of people. I don't know if it'll be the same over here because uh, we're over by the power center instead of um, in Ingalls Mall. And Ingalls Mall is where people are sitting around on the grass anyway. So if you're going to sit over there, why not sit a few feet over here and watch the strange man in the jungle? Uh, here, it'll, I'll be curious to see. It's not as comfortable a place to stretch out, so it may or may not draw a crowd this time.
logo, as it happens, started out as a drawing of a normal human child that went horribly, horribly wrong. Um, I wanted to draw a little dancing kid, but the eyes didn't look quite right, so I erased the eyes. I drew the eyes again, and the eyes still didn't look quite right. And I did that about three times, and then I got really strangely annoyed with my own drawing, like it was not behaving. So kind of as a punishment, I drew its eyes several inches above its head. Like, well, fine, if you don't like where your eyes are, how do you like putting your eyes right here? What do you think about that? And, uh, and it actually looked a lot better. And so... Well, the name came about because I got tired of referring to him as that little green guy. And uh, he, he'd always been a little bit cantankerous. Every time I drew him, it seemed like he was only showing up if he felt like it. And then would do whatever he felt like doing. So it should be a kind of a pugnacious name. Um, and, of course, he has eyes like a slug, so that kind of puts it together pretty easily from that point on. I've been very pleasantly surprised at how much useful input and advice I've gotten from some very young people. That I, w I wouldn't be able to say age, maybe middle school age people, who have hung around for a while and made suggestions that were really very dead-on suggestions. Um, I was doing a swimming pool the other day, and I was working on the big yellow inner tube that the pig was sitting in. And there was actually a consensus amongst two or three kids who were standing nearby that the inner tube needed a handle on it, so it definitely looked like an inner tube, so it had to have like a handle. And they were exactly right, it didn't look at all like an inner tube, it looked like a big yellow blob. Put handles on it, boom, inner tube. So, that's got to be my favorite, because they're actually helping the process. It's hard to make all these decisions by yourself. It's a lot easier if you crowdsource a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've had them help me pick colors and decide what goes where. Um, it's nice to have that collaboration going.
All right, so uh, as you can see, uh, we made it uh, before the sun went down completely, so that's a plus there. Uh, we managed to get uh, Sluggo to show up, which is good, because he doesn't always. The pig uh, has been a little misbehaved this time. I was trying for a terrified pig, uh, redrew his face several times, and have now realized that the pig knows no terror. And that is now going to be his tagline. Um, and this, to my mind, is a dinosaur. Uh, unfortunately, I'm working with a very 1970s concept of dinosaurs, which is really more dragon. Uh, and most of the young people who have walked past today have made it clear that I do not know what a dinosaur looks like. So, we've learned a lot today, uh, but it was a lovely day for it. Hopefully it won't rain for a few hours and we can surprise people with dragon emerging from the parking structure. Oh yeah, all right. So this is David's Inn down on the ground at the Ann Arbor Summer Festival. Uh, if you want to see some of the other chalk art I've done, uh, go to www.zinart.com or you can check out Sluggo on his own uh, page on Facebook, Sluggo on the Street. <laughs>